Hi, my name is Alicia Herring, and I would like to take a moment and share with you an action research project that I conducted in my applied field research class at Kennesaw State University. The title of my research is Early Math Matters, a study on number sense in kindergarten. The purpose of this project was to expand on a study in 2006 by Wilson et al. in which they stated the need for continued research on programs to enhance number sense and intervention results. The Thomas County School System recently implemented an individualized Harcourt math program on the computer as an intervention for students performing in red on the Dibbles math screener. This study aimed to see if students performing in red on the Dibbles math screener would have increased scores on Dibbles after using the Harcourt math intervention program. This study was important to the Thomas County School System because prior to conducting it, there were no assessment tools in place to track math achievement in kindergarten. My research was guided by the following questions. Is hardcore math an effective intervention to increase math achievement in low performing students? Is the Dibbles math screener a valid tool to identify students with low numeracy skills? Did students receiving instruction in the hardcore math program demonstrate improved achievement on the math double screener? Participants included kindergarten students in four out of 16 classrooms at hand in hand. The kindergarten students in four out of 16 classrooms were screened for low numeracy skills with the Dibbles math screener. 16 students out of the four classrooms were identified as being at risk for low numeracy skills because they scored in the red on all three tests within the screener. These students worked on the individualized Harcourt math program three times a week for several weeks and were progress monitored every two weeks to see if their scores increased. According to the literature, math has always been a critical part of the curriculum in education, but number sense is a relatively new concept in mathematics. The National Council of Teachers of Mathematics stated number sense is a content standard of math education. According to Irvindi, number sense is thought to be a foundational skill for future mathematical thinking. Griffin defines number sense as a conceptual understanding of numbers representing quantity and having relationships. The more relationships children can see in numbers, the better understanding they will have of numbers. With this knowledge, they will be able to expand their learning into other areas of mathematics. As stated by Arvindi, number sense in early years is considered to be a foundation to later mathematical learning. The Common Core math standards taught in Thomas County reflect the importance of number sense as an essential factor in mathematical knowledge. I conducted a practical action research design to study the results of implementing the new Dibbles math screener and Harcourt intervention program in kindergarten. This research method was chosen because I am studying a local implementation program within the Thomas County school system. My area of focus centered on early math achievement and number sense. I collected data over a five month period from students identified at risk on the Dibbles math screener as well as those students performing on grade level. The data was analyzed with three separate paired t-tests for the two different groups. Group one was the students identified as at risk for low numeracy skills and group two was the students performing on grade level or above in math. The at-risk students in Group 1 worked on an individualized Harcourt math program three days a week for 20 minutes a day. They were progress monitored every two weeks to see if they were making gains in numeracy skills. The students on grade level or above in Group 2 were compared using the same data analysis method as the students in Group 1. Both groups were given pre and post tests using the Dibbles math screener in all three areas next number fluency, number identification, and quantity discrimination to determine the comparison scores. When we look at the students in Group 1 that were in the Harcourt Math Intervention Program, we can see that on the pre-test, none of them were performing at or above grade level in any of the three areas. After, after the Intervention Program, 31% were meeting or exceeding in number identification, 25% were meeting or exceeding in next number fluency, and 44% of the 16 students were meeting or exceeding in quantity discrimination. 
Based on the results of the research, heart court math is an effective intervention to increase math achievement in low-performing students in all three identified areas on the Dibbles Math Screener. The paired sample t-test for number identification, next number fluency, and quantity discrimination all showed an increase in student performance after using the individualized hardcore math program. In all three areas, the mean increase in the p-value was lower than 0.05, indicating the program had a positive effect, not likely to be obtained by chance. When we look at group 2 with the pre and post test, those students that were performing on or above grade level, in the pre-test 31% were meeting or exceeding in number identification and 63% on the post test. In next number fluency, 46% were meeting or exceeding in, and um, 63 on the post test. In quantity discrimination, 34% were meeting or exceeding on the pre-test and 54% we're meeting or exceeding on the post test. As you can see, group two students increased proficiency in all three areas, just like group one. However, when comparing the results using the same paired sample t-test for all three areas in Dibbles math, the mean score for this group increased, but the p-value was higher than the 0 .05, indicating students who were already performing at or above grade level were likely to experience their gains from regular classroom instruction and not a specific program. When we look at the two groups side by side, we can see that group one, of course, was not performing at or above grade level on the pretest. But after the intervention program, they experienced a 31% gain in number identification, a 25% gain in next number fluency, and a 44% gain in quantity discrimination. Looking at group two, we can see on the pre-test as compared to the post-test, for number identification, they experienced a 32% gain. For next number fluency, they experienced a 17% gain. And for quantity discrimination, they experienced a 20% gain. By comparing the students performing below grade level in math and those performing on or above grade level in math, this study teases out the other factors that may influence the gains of student scores before and after the heart court math intervention. While teacher instruction did increase the mean scores in all three areas of the Dibbles math screener, next number fluency, number identification, and quantity discrimination, the t-test results for group, for group two shows classroom instruction or other factors likely to be the cause for the increase in scores, while group one's results show the heart court math intervention program to be the cause for the increase in scores of all three areas without the likelihood of chance being involved in Group 1's results. Looking at the summary of results, the Dibbles Mass Screener is directly aligned to the Common Core Georgia Performance Standards and seems to be a valid tool for identifying students with low numeracy skills, as it did target 16 out of 16 students in four classrooms performing below grade level on the math standards. The results of my research were validated to show Dibbles Math is an effective tool for identifying students with low numeracy skills. Research also showed that the Heart Court Math program is an effective intervention to increase math achievement in low performing students, as students receiving the instruction demonstrated increased achievement on the Dibbles Math in all three areas tested, next number fluency, number identification, and quantity discrimination. The findings from this study support the research by Chang and Slavon in 2012, which shows the need for better tools to increase math achievement. As stated by Charles Worth and Lalo in 2011, young children spend most of their time learning through play. They further state teachers need to be on the lookout for math and play and support children's natural learning style. A quote from them is, Teacher selected individual and small group adult guided instruction can be effective if it is game like, challenging, and fun. Educators are now paying special attention to computer games as tools for enhancing math achievement. Studies researched by Kim and Chang in 2010 support the ideas that games have a positive effect on learning when the game is built to support the learning skills. The results of my study support this research and support hardcore math as being an effective computer game to enhance math achievement in students identified as at risk for low numeracy skills. Reflecting back on my research, it seems to me that while the t-test limit the likelihood of chance being the cause for an increase in scores, 
I am still not assured that it was solely the Harcourt math program and not just the extra time the students got with a teacher working on the math skills. I think it would be interesting to conduct this same research with another math intervention to see if the same results are achieved. Still, the study did show positive results when using hardcore math as an intervention with at-risk students, so I definitely think it is a valid resource to increase low numeracy skills in those at-risk students on the Dibbles Math Screener. And also, the Dibbles Math Screener did identify students at risk for low numeracy skills. There was one glitch because it also identified a couple who were not performing below grade level in mathematics, but after interviewing the teachers, they seemed to think it was the time limit and the students were distracted. They say that the students did fine on the next two benchmarks. Since this was a pilot year for the Math Dibbles program, future research should be conducted to, to validate this tool for the identification of those students performing below grade level in math. Future research should also be conducted to analyze the predictive validity of Dibbles math measures to the statewide assessments of math proficiency. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed my overview of this study.